Hey, what's going on guys? EP09 Fitness back here with another video. And today, I want to talk about the top 10 coming up in the Olympia. Now, you're seeing everybody out there now has their top 10 out there. As a matter of fact, not only do you see everybody making their prediction videos in the last couple of weeks, but you're seeing a lot of the major influencers even are starting to change their predictions. That's how crazy this year's lineup is at the Olympia. When you've got guys like Nick Strength and Power and, I mean, Milo Sarshev, they're, they're all changing their predictions. It's, it's because the lineup is so deep this year, nobody knows which way it's going to go. And you know what? I thought about that a lot. So for my prediction video, I'm going to give you who I think is going to land in the top 10. But I'm not going to say where I think they're going to land. I may think about saying it when we get a little bit closer to the Olympia, but it's just, it's, it's hard to say. Now, with that being said, I know that you guys already know that I have Nick in my top three, absolutely. But other than that, it's anybody's game. So today, the five guys that I want to highlight in this video, and, and I'm going to make another video highlighting the next five that I think are going to be in the top 10. But for today, these are the guys that I'm going to focus on. Brandon Curry. Michael Crizo, Big Rami, of course, Ian Valier, and Andrew Jack. First up, Brandon Curry. Now, this is obviously an easy one. Brandon Curry is most definitely going to be in that top 10. In fact, a lot of people have Brandon for the win. And I can understand that because Brandon has made such massive improvements between last year's Olympia and this year's Olympia. It's, it's probably the most improvements that anybody has seen him make in his career to date. It's, it's, it's really going well for him. You know, a lot of guys that go out to that oxygen gym in Kuwait, there's guys that have good experiences and there's guys that have bad experiences. But it seems like for Brandon, it's the proper place to be. It seems like, uh, and I've heard him comment on it in the past, it's just somewhere that he can go and completely be away from anything else that might be any kind of influence on him, except for training and bodybuilding, you know, um, family, nothing like that. He can go and he can train. Although family is important to the guy, he can just go out to Kuwait and really, really train hard. And it seems like Coach Abdullah out there has really got Brandon dialed in. So Brandon, easily in my top 10. Next up, Michael Crizzo. Now, Michael Crizzo, one of the more exciting guys. I mean, he made some big, big noise this year. For a guy that was calling out all of the top pros in the IFBB Pro League, coming over from the IFBB Elite Pro, Michael Crizzo, in one year, earned his pro card. Actually, <laughs> not just within one year, all within a couple of months span. Michael Crizzo earned his IFBB Pro card. He won a pro show at the Prague Pro. And now, he's going to the Olympia. I think that people really are underestimating Michael Crizzo, but I think that some of that underestimation is, is kind of valid, you know? <laughs> a lot of people are commenting on how he's been sucking a lot of wind lately. You know, if anything is going to hold back Michael Crizzo this year at placing well at the Olympia, it's going to be his ability to hold his poses. If anything is going to affect Michael Crizzo 100%, it'll be posing this year coming up. I mean, you can even see him in some of these training videos. He is, he's sucking a lot of wind. But man, look at the size of him. I mean, <laughs> he's, he, he's massive. It's really hard to grasp how big he is. When I see angles of him like sitting down with his arms on his quads, it, it really is hard to grasp how big this guy is. He's one of the more exciting guys coming into the IFBB this year. And, I mean, especially for an Olympia debut, there's so many good Olympia debuts. But Michael Crizzo, easy one. Easy top 10. Very exciting. Really looking forward to it. Next up, we may as well just say this one now, guys. Big Rami. I mean, Big Rami is going for the win. Big Rami's on track to win. We are not seeing anything to tell us that Big Rami will be anything short of his absolute best. He came over early to train with Dennis James again. Chad Nichols has said that it's, well, I think Chad said like 
10% better than what he was in 2020. And I like that he referred back to 2020 as well. Um, because last year, if there was any question, you know, in uh, Rami's ability to win the Olympia, it was it was last year. But this year, I mean, I think the door is just going to be shut. That's what everybody's saying at this point. I think it's well understood that Big Rami is going to be in first place. So I wanted to kind of mix this video up with uh, guys that you might think are in the top five, guys that you may think are not in the top five. Big Rami is a pretty easy one. Big Rami's going to win this year. And that's fine. I mean, you know, I, it, it doesn't make it any less exciting for me. I, I don't think it makes it any less exciting for the fans. We love to see Big Rami coming in his best shape ever because for years, everybody said if Big Rami could just show up, if he could just show up, in shape he would win and that happened and now he's just been getting better i tell you chad nichols really figured out how to dial this guy in keep him big keep him full get him ripped awesome next guy up ian valier now a lot of people have ian counted out of their top 10 and i just think that's ridiculous ian is definitely a top 10 guy this year you know Ian has made some massive improvements himself. Massive improvements. He's very consistent with those improvements. I mean, when it comes to conditioning, <laughs> there's very few people that can match Ian's conditioning on that stage. He's always conditioned, grainy, hard. I mean, you can see it if you go back and watch a, a video I had with Ian in it uh, 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 about a week ago. You can see the vascularity in his training. I mean, it's just insane. Ian is a top 10 guy this year. I mean, the, the improvements that he's made are just, I mean, in size, how do you improve on Ian's conditioning, you know? But I think Ian also knows that symmetry is going to be a big thing this year. And if you saw some of the update pictures that he's posted, it looks like his waist actually got smaller. So he's pulling a little bit of a Nick Walker, I guess. Not that he needs any advice. But yeah, Ian, top 10 guy for sure. And, you know, props to Ian on his social media following. I, I mentioned it before, too, but Ian really stepped it up for a guy that really didn't like to post a whole lot in the past and, you know, had some controversial comments on certain things and people and stuff like that. Nah, Ian's hitting it, man. Ian's in the top 10. You guys just watch and see. Can he improve on 7th? <laughs> Tough year to do it. But he is in the best shape of his life. I really do think so. I mean, just look how wide the guy is now. <laughs> Not that his back was a weak point before, but man, it's going to be good. Next up, Andrew Jacked. Andrew Jacked. You know, for a guy that just turned pro this year, he's another guy just like Michael Crizzo making his Olympia debut. And he really is. He really is a guy that people are watching out for. When he won his pro card, <laughs> it was like the next day that different people were coming out and saying, can Andrew Jack be in the top six? Can he be in the top six? That's how good this guy is. That's how much confidence people have in this guy. And especially right now, to weigh in at 292. 292 is huge. He's, I mean, Nick Walker weighed in at what, 257 or 258 there yesterday? I mean, this is, this is eight days out. I think it's eight days out anyway. It's within 10 days out. 292 massive and but proportion wise I mean every, everybody knows at this point you know what they're going to get when it comes to Andrew Jack and his proportions and his symmetry and just absolutely crazy but you know one thing I did notice with Andrew Jack is all of his training videos he's covered up man he's covering up now the question is though why why is he staying so covered up does he have something to hide is his conditioning not where everybody would expect has he lost size these are all the questions but you know what i actually found an interview with andrew jack recently and i'm not i'm not going to say any more because i'm going to do a separate video on andrew jack here shortly before the olympia it's going to come out as to where i think andrew jack may place and what i think may affect those placings so i hope you guys stay tuned for that one but either way andrew jack has made some noise this year he has made some noise crazy physique crazy they talk about aesthetics in the open bodybuilding lineup and a lot of that conversation directly came from andrew jack because he's got those aesthetics he's a mass monster 
but he's just the, the lines are just so clean so clean he is such an exciting such an exciting addition to this year's olympia crazy so we'll see how he does andrew jack top 10 So there you have it, guys. That's the first half of who I think is going to be in the top 10 this year. And again, the only reason that I can't necessarily say where these guys are going to land is because the general consensus is who knows. But I think the one thing that we do know for sure is at the end of the Olympia this year, we are going to hear the same thing that we heard last year, and that is this. Big Remy! All right. Anyway, that's it for this video, guys. Thanks a lot for tuning in. Let me know down in the comments section. Do I have at least half of the top five correct? Where do you disagree with me? Where do you agree with me? I love the comments, guys, and I've been getting a lot of comments uh, for, for so few videos that I have. I really, really appreciate it, and I try to respond to everybody. So thank you very much. I appreciate the support very much. Stay tuned for my part two. I'll have that coming out here soon. Make sure to like and subscribe.